countdown about to start. Nine, eight, seven, and um, I start right away. Welcome, 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 welcome to the class. Welcome to the Sunday's class. Um, we are new here. I want to specially welcome you. And I'm 100% sure that you are going to learn a lot today. Welcome, everybody. A lot of people online. We are 12 in number. I actually appreciate you coming around. I want to appreciate you coming around. Thank you very much for coming around. Today, we are going to be learning a lot. I'm about to show my handsome face right now. Welcome to the class. Welcome to the class. My name is Odetola Beniza Israel. If you are joining me for the first time, this is our Sunday class where we explore a lot of technology that can be integrated into the classroom environment. And um, in today's class, we are going to be exploring the possibilities of using WhatsApp as a learning tool. I'd like you to share this video with your colleagues. Please share the video with your colleagues as I'm about to start right now. Um, if you have any questions, can you please be dropping them on the comment button below? Any question, if you have any question during the course of um, our deliberation in the class, be dropping them in the question below. Good evening, Mrs. Nkiruka. Good evening. Mrs. Gladys, good evening. Mr. Emmanuel, good evening. Esther, good evening. Wolabi, good evening. Mr. Abbas, good evening. Um, Pottery College, good evening. Victory, B Victoria, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. If I did not mention your name, I'm very sorry. But if you can try to comment, I will make sure I do that. I'm about to start. In today's class, we are going to be looking at just a very simple way to make use of WhatsApp as an LMS. What is an LMS? LMS is called the Learning Management System. Learning Management System simply means that a platform that can enable students to learn and a platform that can enable our our teachers also to send assignments in into the classroom. Let me make it. Um, let me take my time to define the meaning of LMS so that um, we can actually understand better. So, what exactly is um, LMS? LMS is a software application for the administration, documentation, tracking, reporting automating and delivery of educational courses training program or learning and development program so it actually means the use of software for running of administration of schools documenting tracking reporting automating the delivery of educational courses now there's a part of whatsapp that can actually help us to achieve some of the definition over here as you can see we can do documentation on whatsapp that means we can document a lot of our content in the classroom although there's another platform again that can enable us to document a lot and also um when we talk about tracking um tracking may not be very um straightforward on whatsapp but there's a way we can also go about that reporting yes we can report live on whatsapp we can do that auto automation yes automation it is possible also you can program whatever you want to send on whatsapp and uh, you can achieve that so in today's class i will be going directly into my okay mr bass okay sorry <laughs> thank you very much for correction Mr. Emmanuel, welcome to the class and um, I welcome everybody to today's class. So, um, I want to start by encourage, encouraging us that um, we should try all our best to start anything we can start in talking about um, 4th term. 
for now, um, the response from the federal government is not actually friendly at all. Um, some group of people will tell us to resume, another group will tell us not to resume. So the best advice I'm going to give you for now is to start up something, then by the time school resumes, you are going to now integrate them into each other, which is achieve, uh, we are trying to achieve a um, um, flip classroom. And um, this training is also like um, a flip classroom training. And I'm very sure um, flip classroom is one of my topic, maybe in one of these Sundays, introducing us to flip classroom because it is now the, the new system of education we should be embracing. When school resume, as I advised last week, school may not actually resume in, in the normal way of about 4 o'clock closing, about 3 o'clock closing or 2 o'clock closing. School may resume and they will use the word school should close by 12. How do we continue learning with the children? For now, I will advise everybody out there that Saturday now to be part of school. That means that our timetable can be structured to Saturday. But Saturday, the student will not be in school life, but there's something we can use to engage them on Saturdays. Every school now should be thinking about blended learning. Every school now should be thinking about how they can achieve the flip school, flip school model, flip classroom, an ability to make sure that everything that is being taught in the classroom can be what can um, can, can also be sent home in, in such a way that the children can respond to the content and they can play content, they can reverse content, and they can also learn in uh, in such a way that um, in their comfort zone. Let me just use that statement learning in their comfort zone so in the classroom they will come and learn face to face and at home they can also learn in their comfort zone this is what we are going to be achieving today with the use of whatsapp and i'm very sure that you are going to enjoy the class i'd like you to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed to my channel i'd like you to do that subscribe to the channel um, share this video with your colleagues there are a lot of your colleagues out there looking for content there was even a day that um, somebody said that uh, um there is no um, there is no training going on i said there is training they are training going on every day they are training going on every day but people think they are, they are, that training is not actually going on training is going on every day and um, it actually depends on how ready you have so as i said today's topic will be all about the use of whatsapp as virtual learning tools the use of whatsapp as uh, the virtual learning tools i know you like my studio um, um i sent something online not quite long about um how i created my youtube studio if you like to create something like this i have so many packages coming up soon i think there's one i've sent online if you want to create a lovely environment for your virtual class meeting and more i have a lot of that coming soon thank you very much for joining the class right away i am going to move to my workspace so um move to my workspace so um, in today's class, the first thing I'm going to do is to talk about how to download WhatsApp. How do we download WhatsApp? Oh, I think let me start from the list, the one that we know how to use. I will not start from the laptop, the use of laptop. Let me go to the use of um, the use of phone force. I think starting from the use of phone we make it very simple for some of us out there because um, we are actually used to whatsapp on phone but i will tell you that it is not only on phone that whatsapp is possible to use whatsapp can be used anywhere whatsapp can be achieved anywhere so this is my phone and uh, i'm going to be displaying my phone right away so how do you download whatsapp on your phone please if you don't have a whatsapp on your phone i'm 100 sure that the people actually viewing this video they are all on whatsapp if you are not on whatsapp eh, there's something wrong but i'm sure you're on whatsapp i am 100 percent sure that um you are on whatsapp let me lower my music if you have any complaint can you please be dropping them 
if there's anything wrong with my sound with my video be dropping them so that i'll be using them as, as feedback those feedback are actually needed so that um, i can know what exactly is going on so this is my phone um on play store that is where we get all our um, contents to use in terms of um, downloading application on phone so let me do, do, do let me assume that um, we all know where whatsapp is so this is whatsapp i start whatsapp out not whatsapp web i'm still going to talk about whatsapp web but let me first start from the whatsapp itself i would like you to be updating your whatsapp regularly if you update your whatsapp regularly you are going to be getting a lot of a lot of new features of whatsapp now i am updating my own whatsapp and um, one of the things that um, um that you gain while updating your whatsapp regularly are the new updates all the updates of whatsapp you are going to be getting them if you if you update your whatsapp regularly so why by updating your whatsapp regularly that means that anything that is actually currently happening on whatsapp you are going to be getting them right away on whatsapp and um i think yes i'm done with my updates now i open my whatsapp now i said i'm going to list 10 ways to use whatsapp as virtual tools i will be starting from number one number one on my list the first one on my list is for you to use your whatsapp to create a personal chat what is a personal chat a personal chat is a chat that can be done in between one student and a teacher that means that i as a teacher i can um, i can come around now and uh, maybe i have one student in my classroom i can be chatting with that student personally in the classroom so personal chat is an example of creating content with the children let me use um let me chat with my second number as a personal chat i know it may not uh, actually sound like oh this is not what i'm expecting but note personal chat exists as content in terms of um, in terms of um, using whatsapp as 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 um, as, con as um, uh, virtual tool so personal chat you will need to design your timetable please design timetable for anything you want to use on, on whatsapp and make sure that you stick to that time if it is possible get alarm get alarm and be making sure that if you use the word 10 o'clock we are going to send something online send that in exactly 10 o'clock so that you will be able to use whatsapp effectively because you can't program what you want to send on whatsapp like now i want to send a message um 10 o'clock or if i'm using google classroom i can program what i want to send for exactly 10 o'clock but on whatsapp i can't program my message except they just actually added that so on whatsapp the only thing you can do is to make sure that you design your timetable and then you follow that timetable the exact time you want to send your content for nine o'clock you send it on nine o'clock for nine o'clock so personal chat is the first way to use your whatsapp so if i have five students in my classroom i can also use personal chat so the next one on my list is the use of what i call broadcast so what is broadcast we are all used to broadcast i send broadcast almost every day and in case you don't know some of those personal messages you receive from me they are all broadcast i have um, about um, close to 50 broadcasts and then by the time i send the broadcast to all the 50 people on my whatsapp they will be private chatting me one after the other that means that the idea of personal class can be also be achieved through broadcast what am i talking about how do we open broadcast first to open broadcast to open broadcast you will need to click on the three button up there and then you click on broadcast the people you want to use in the the students that you want to add to your broadcast make sure the first thing you do is to tell them to save your number tell them to save your number so that you'll be able to add them to the whatsapp um, broadcast so um, i look for my students mtn is first uh, my first students and uh, my second student and my third student so i have this student in my broadcast list when i send them message 
Hello, welcome to the class. When I send this message, hello, welcome to the class, those three people are going to receive my WhatsApp message at the same time. And if they, if they send message back, I am going to be receiving those messages as, as an individual, as in it's going to come as a personal chat. But now the message is going as broadcast. So this method is the second method you need to understand. If I am you in your school, you will need those three things, those two things I mentioned. The first one is the personal chat with the students. The second one is the first one is personal chat. The second one is using of broadcast. And the third one, the third one on my list, there are still so many things I'm still going to explain, especially the use of worksheets, especially how to send content, how to send videos. And also, I would like you to stay to the end of this video because I have a content for you on how to send a editable worksheet through the use of WhatsApp. You can send a editable worksheet that your student can fill. Your student can use their hand to drag. Your student can do so many things on those editable worksheets. I'm going to be giving you that trick before the end of this video. Please share this video with your colleagues. Tell them that something is going on somewhere on YouTube. And I'm very sure that you are going to do that. I'm going to be teaching you how to send videos, long videos. If you use your phone, you may not be able to send long video. But I'll teach you how to send 40 minute video, one hour video. The only video you can send on WhatsApp is just three minutes. You only have access to three minutes to send video on WhatsApp. But I'm going to be teaching you how you can go beyond that three minutes. Three minutes is too small for us. Hmm? We need to look for we need to look for more. That three minutes is the least. So we need to look for ways to send uh, to send content beyond three minutes. And I'm going to be teaching you this before the end of this video. So the first thing we have achieved is how to use WhatsApp as personal chat. The second one we have achieved is how to create broadcast. Now, the third one on my list. The third one on my list is for you to create a group. Now, we all have so many groups that we use. We have church group, we have class group, we have a parents group, PTA group, so many groups. Even on my own platform, I have the largest WhatsApp platform in Africa called CME. So you can join that platform all over the world. If you want to join that platform, you are welcome i'm very sure the number should be below the button now we have a lot of videos under my comments there um under my under the description of this video you can get a lot of videos there so i want to add students to my whatsapp group now i had the first student i had the second student and i had the third student i have only four students in my group and i named the class yeah year four um cme cme school or cme school year four anyhow you want to write it make sure that you name the school and make sure you use a very nice uh, nice picture for your group and uh, there's something i would like you to add uh, to for to do before you start all of this the first on my list is for you to create your timetable the second is for you to make sure that anything you want to do in the group they say rules there are rules create a a a youtube rules i mean um, um class rules what to do before you start all of this the first on my list create your class rules what exactly is your class rules your class rules will enable any students on in your class to be able to 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 work on um to, to be able to abide with what is happening in the classroom like now you will need to tell them in your classroom because sometimes it may be the it may be the parent phone number so you may need to write there that religious posts are not allowed broadcasts are not allowed the only thing that is allowed in this group is question and answer based on on assignment and based on anything about the school and um, you should make sure that the whatsapp group is not open almost every time hmm? you should have a particular time that you open the whatsapp and you have a particular time that you close the whatsapp group so that the children can go back there 
and turn the WhatsApp into a library. What am I talking about? The WhatsApp can be used as a library. But if messages are too much on the WhatsApp group, it will not be able to, you may not be able to achieve that as a library. What am I talking about? What is a library? Like now, um, when we talk about using your WhatsApp as library, we are talking about making sure that there is no much content in your WhatsApp group. There's no much content there that the children won't be able to like, oh, there are so many messages. Which one will I start with to read? You should be able to, um, to, to construct everything that you have in the classroom based on just what is happening in the classroom. And uh, if you are on week one, the first message you will drop on the group is week one. Let me do this as an example. I have opened this group. What I'm going to write is uh, week one. So that means under this now, then you write the objective of week one and all the subjects for week one. Then after that, all the remaining sub all the remaining content will now be sent in into the group. That means that by the time children come in, by the time they see week one, that means anything below week one. Is now what? It's now the content for week one. So with that, they'll be able, they can go back to the classroom and um, read everything about week one again and again. Please try your best to make sure this is achieved because if it is too congested with so many messages, the children and any guidance that is helping to run this class may not enjoy it at all. So week one will be written there and then you send all your week one content week two will be written there you send all your week two content and more so the next thing on my list as a teacher also you need a place to keep a lot of your work you need a place to keep a lot of your work where will you keep your works you will need to create a group create a group so when you create a group add Add a number that you know. After adding the number, you can call it my my um, my activity. My activities. Then after creating the word my activities, the next thing you will do, you go back to the group and delete that person. So you remove the person back from the group. So when you remove the person back from the group, Everything that is happening in this group belongs to you. This is a very lovely trick. That means that you can come here and be writing all your week one activity. Keep them here. When you want to forward, you just forward from here to the group. You can be writing. Maybe you saw something online. You want to copy and paste. You can copy and paste everything and keep them here. I do this a lot. I have so many of... Uh, let me show you some of my... Some of the group I've actually created for myself that I use for this. I even have two numbers I use to do this. This is a number I use to keep all my messages, correct messages, correct videos, and a lot. This is this number actually belongs to me, and I do a lot with it in the in the comment below. So try your best as much as possible to create a WhatsApp, a WhatsApp what, a WhatsApp activity group for yourself, personal activity group where you keep all the content you want to send in into the group where you keep your videos, where you keep your worksheet, because it may take time before you upload some of those things into your phone. So if you upload them as early as possible, keep them inside your phone, in your personal um, activity um, group, you can now be doing a lot with them. So you will write there as usual, um, week one, then under week one, you input everything that you need to do there. So the next thing on my list, is the major reason why we are here if you have any question below because now i have actually talked about the basis what i'm going to be doing now is how to now use the advanced part of whatsapp so i divide this class into two the first one is to talk about the advanced part of it and the second one is to talk about the basis the basis is not um, a very uh, big thing at all 
So um, the basis is what we use almost every day. So what are the advanced parts of using WhatsApp as a virtual learning tool? So if I have a group, what can I do on those group? The first thing I can do on the group, the first thing I can do on the group is that I can um, send messages very sure. The second thing is that I can send Microsoft documents, PDF, any material in form of different types of materials. That is, I click over here, then I click on um, the word document. I can bring in documents here. I can download books online and tell children to read those books. I can even bring in so many things, PDF formats, uh, content. Um, my I can bring in PowerPoint, I can bring in Microsoft Word, I can bring in so many things here, and the children can bring that, and the children can have access to them with the use of their phone. How do we use this Word document? I think I should start with that. Now, to use that Word document, you will need to download this application called WSP. If you don't have WSP on your phone, um, I'm very sure that you will need to do that right away. WSP will give you access to WSP will give you access to open a lot of files in terms of PDF file, uh, a lot of files in terms of um, PDF, PowerPoint, and more. Let me show you my PowerPoint. This is I also teach, and uh, this is uh, what I actually taught one of my students, some of my students for last month, and um, over here. This is my PowerPoint for them. I taught them drawing and I converted this into a video. But let me first teach you how to first make use of this content alone. Make sure that everything you write there are something that the children can do on their own. And from here, I can share this content direct. So how can I share this content direct from my... From my... Um, from this WSP. If I click over here on this three dot, let's see whether it is possible from this three dot. From this three dot, it is written there, WhatsApp. So over here now, I can send documents, this PowerPoint presentation to my what? To my WhatsApp group. And uh, I will write above there, above is, uh, is the activity for week. For week one and then you will write there what you want them to achieve assignment 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 make a drawing of your own at the end of this video at, at the end of this slide this, this is slide now you can see that you have everything there sent to the children in the group. Please note something. You will need class rules, as I said. And in that class rules, I want you to go and embrace this ideology. Just write it there, class rules. Class group. Open from 8 a.m. to what? To 4 p.m. Write it there. And all the remaining rules. I can get you more rules maybe at the end of the day. Then after this, come click on your... Click on the name of the group. And uh, come to your um, group setting. And under group setting, come to participants. Click on it. And from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., do it in such a way that all participants can comment. Then from that 4 p.m. to the next day, click on only participants, only admin can comment. Why do you want to do that? You are going to be doing that because... You don't want a lot of messages coming in 
after the class activity. We don't want all messages coming in after the class after the class activity. So try your best to do that. Try your best to do that as soon as possible. Try your best to do that. So um, let me move to. You can see for now it is only admin. I'm only the person who can actually write on this group right now. So I've sent my class. Um, what's it called? Um, class slide, and I've given them that this is above is for week one, and I've given them assignments. And class rules is not something that you should be sending every day. You can be sending it every week, or you should have sent it as a, send it as a, as um, send this as a PDF file with the use of your Canva. Design it as a letterhead. Send it to your parent from the beginning of the term. Um, just send it as the class rules this and that write everything there so by the time you write it there make it professional make it professional so that they won't be seeing it as if it's just whatsapp they are going to be using for their for their virtual class anything that you have at hand you can use it to the fullest in such a way that nobody will feel it that we are using the list of material to work so if i have whatsapp i can create a pdf file with the use of my canva go and download canva hmm? Canva design. So Canva design will enable you to, to design PDF. So you don't need um, excuses that you don't have a laptop to create a blessed head or our secretary is not around. This and that. So with the use of this Canva, you can create, this is my Canva over here. This is how it looks like. You can create anything you want to create and then with that, that is very fine. So the next one I want to work on now is the ability for you to create worksheets. Hmm? You can create worksheets and then with that worksheet, children can work on a lot. Children can achieve a lot on that worksheet. So how do we create worksheets? We are also going to be using Canva to create our, our worksheet for today. Canva is what we are going to be using to achieve our worksheets for today. So, um... I'm trying to bring in Canva. Canva can be downloaded from, from Play Store. From Play Store, you can get your Canva. From Play Store, you can achieve your Canva from Play Store. Let me show you how to achieve that. Um, So I move right away. I want to make my phone portrait right now. In this part, my phone is going to be portrait. So we can even be seeing some of our comments. Good. So if you have comments, please be dropping them, be dropping your comments, be dropping your comments. Those comments are needed in the course of today's class. So right now, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to um, go to my Canva. Canva, and I can create my worksheet for my Canva. For my Canva, I can create my worksheet on my Canva. So I, I go to, um, over here we have the plus sign. I click on the plus sign and uh, I can create them in form of different formats. But this is the normal format that you can still print on at the end of the day. I click on it. So when I click on it, if you have any question, yes, WSP can be downloaded on, on your Play Store. So I click on this. So after this now, I can go and download my materials, the one I want them to use. That is from google.com and I go there and download my worksheets, worksheets for primary two. I go to images and uh, I look for any type of worksheets that is suitable for me. I look for different worksheets. 
look for different worksheets. These are worksheets, and um, I think three is okay. Then I click on the next next image I'm adding. I'm adding this. This is fine, and I also swipe again to the next part. When I swipe to the next part again. Okay, when I swipe to the next part, I I also click on um, my I click on my um, worksheets. Then I I click on the picture, and I also add another worksheet. This is fine. This is lovely. I'm from here now. I can now go right away to my print them. Um, I'm um, sending it out as PDF. So if I come over here, up here, this arrow up, I can save as. Under save as, you click on. Sorry. I click on this part first, the arrow up. I think it's better I use the arrow. And um, I. Save as, then I click on this part, PNG, then I save it as PDF. PDF standard, then I download. The moment I download this, this is going to turn to a kind of a PDF file. You can see, okay, then said I should send it to a WhatsApp. So the moment I do send to WhatsApp, um, it's going to bring all my WhatsApp group. Then I send it to the children again. So the WhatsApp, this is there, and I write it there above is activity for literacy. Um, you now you write the description. Description you write your description or any other thing you want to write. I don't I don't actually know what I'm going to write, but I want to change that English. I don't know what to write again. And then with that, you can add any other thing and you are fine. But remember to be writing description around uh, what you want to do or um, any other English that can be used. Please work on that. That you add description so that your children can um, can understand what you are trying to achieve. Please that, and I'm very sure that it will be fine. Work on that, and it will be fine. So, um, if you have any question, I'm about to move to another part. If you have any question, please try to drop all the questions. This is just PDF aspect of what we are doing today, and we are about to move to another direction. Please do that, and um, I'm very sure you are going to enjoy this class. Any question, please drop them below now.
again welcome back again i decided to settle some aspect of my network so that uh, this class will not go and stop suddenly okay um so this time we are going to be working we are still on um we are still working on our whatsapp so i'm going to take it to another level right away and um, the level we are taking it to now is for us to make use of WhatsApp group, um, uh, use sending of materials from our WhatsApp, sending of materials from our well, sending of PDF from our WhatsApp again. We have explored we have explored some parts so this time we are going to move to another part i'm not sure you'll be able to see my face for some time again due to my network i need to protect the network so that um, it will not run down okay um so the nice thing i'm going to be working on now the network is now is for us to be able to send more documents, this time editable documents. How do you assess editable documents? You can assess editable documents when you embrace a lot of technology, especially from what I call Google Worksheets. Google Worksheets is um, one of the content out there that allows children to edit a lot of worksheets. Um, I have a class coming up this week. If you can enroll for that class, you will learn that. Um, like this is an example of a worksheet. And my children, my students over here can drag this assignment to inside the box. They can drag one. Then by the time they drag, they can send the link back to me on WhatsApp. They can send the link back to me on WhatsApp. This again now, I send to them and uh, they can they drag it, they drag the answer again into the box. And uh, this is a very nice one. And this can also happen on WhatsApp. So WhatsApp can be used for a lot. So sometimes when people look at it and say, ah, WhatsApp is too small. Now, no, it's, it is not at all. I was, this is another worksheet loading again. And... Uh, the children can also come over here, worksheet class, and uh, they can even click on their names. Let me show you the beginning of this slide. This is their name. By the time they click on their name, it is going to take them to their own to their own worksheets. And then with this, okay, it's saying that um, okay, the slide has been deleted. So I move to slide four. This is an assignment for the student. Let me first take it back, and I fill it. I will drag the correct answer into the box so you can do a lot over here with the use of this worksheet so how will i go about it i'll copy the link when i copy the link i'll take you to my whatsapp okay only admin you can see that it is written there that it is only admin that can comment so let me make this person an admin make admin immediately to allow this phone to comment so i will paste the moment i paste i will now cut the remaining part of it or leave it i can leave it and send to this student this student over here they can click on it by the time they click on it they can edit this file or another way to go about it is for you to click on the file when i click when you click on file you can click on make a copy entire presentation selected slide so i want to use the word entire presentation so if i click on make copy the copy is there and um, this is this is the copy i click ok and then um, it is making a copy right away so um, this copy can you can be using whatsapp so when you use whatsapp your students this is the copy you made for the students. And by the time the student finish editing this, you can see everything. You can write, you can name it, copy of 
to copy of students. Then you copy it, copy, you go back to the WhatsApp and what and paste it. So with this now, my students, my students have access to editable worksheets. Hmm? Editable worksheet. So editable worksheet can be achieved over here also with the use of WhatsApp. With the use of WhatsApp, a editable worksheet can be achieved. So let me see um, how you can give this a try. You can give this a try over there. I'm very sure that you will be able to achieve it. Sir, I want clarity in the area of creating activity page. Okay, I will go back now. Can one set exam for preschool using WhatsApp? Yes, you can set exam for preschool using WhatsApp. Now, let me give you the kind of uh, um, the kind of idea I brought in in a particular organization last week. I said for exam with the use of WhatsApp, what they are going to do is very simple. They have 10 students in their school and they now give them exam by, have you seen exam timetable by, by student? That means from 9 to 8 to 9 is going to be for Tolu. Hmm? From 10, 9 to 10 is going to be for Tile. From 10 to 11 is going to be for for Jeremiah to 6 o'clock they finish that class. Now what are they going to do? They are going to monitor that student on WhatsApp WhatsApp video. I'm going to show you how WhatsApp video works. Let me use the opportunity to show you how WhatsApp video works. WhatsApp video, you can make call if you are in a group. And you can also call individual. Let me show you what I am talking about. Um, WhatsApp, I go to my WhatsApp. When I go to my WhatsApp, I can call everybody in the group. But it's only allowed seven members. I can call seven members in the group. I will go, let me go and use a group with um, so many members. Um, group. Let me go to platform 26. Then I click on the plus sign over here. When I click on the plus sign, I want to mark the people I want to call. One, two, two, three, four, five, six. Let me see whether they've increased. You know, updates. The more you just check that update you get, the more you get something. Six, seven, seven. Fine. They allow seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus me making eight. I can do a video call and I can do a voice call. This is nice. I can do a video call and I can also do a voice call. So with this, I can achieve, um, I can achieve exam with this. With this method, I can achieve examination. So um, this is simple. I'd like you to give it a try and then um, I'm very sure you will do so. So the next on my list, so the next on my list, I think my video is not uh, showing again. I'm going to work on the video. But if you can see the video, if you can still have access to the video, can you please tell me if you have any problem over there? Can you please tell me so that I'll be working on it from my end? Now, the next thing on my list, you can make call for now. I've talked about worksheets. These are the worksheets I talked about. And then from here, if I open the worksheet, open. It is opening presentation. Opening present. It's writing it as presentation. Then it will open like this. Now, how many did it open like this on my own phone? I went to Play Store for your students to have access to a detailed worksheet. Just tell them to go and download on Play Store. They should go and download what is called Google Slide. Google Slide. They need Google Slide right now. Everybody need Google Slide right now. You need Google Slide. We have done a lot. This is blessing. We have done a lot. 
you need Google Slide. Just get your Google Slide. By the time you get your Google Slide, you will be able to work on a lot. I'm going to send a separate video in on how to use WhatsApp as virtual learning. Maybe I'm going to do that tonight. I'll send the video. It's going to be just 10 minutes video. And then I'm going to state everything. 10 minutes. I won't go out of 10 minutes at all. Because I have another 21 minute, 27 minute video I'm sending tonight. So, uh, but this one is a face-to-face -face class where we have time to chat with each other and we talk about it. There's a lot of possibilities through the use of WhatsApp. There's a lot of possibilities through the use of WhatsApp. So, um, what are we going to be doing right now? If you have questions, uh, please throw in those questions. I, um, okay, they said clarity on creating activity page. I said you should go and download your um, download Canva. So when you download Canva, you will have the opportunity. This is my Canva. You will have the opportunity to work on your worksheet. You will have the opportunity to work on worksheet when you download Canva. Canva is nice. Canva is good for everybody. Regardless of your location, Canva, you can use it to create worksheets. I've done that at the beginning of this video. I'd like you to go and watch that part again so that you get that particular aspect of worksheets. Um, any question, please, before I move on? I am on 59 minutes and I'm spending just one hour for this class so that I'll be able to create a proper video that you can watch on your own. This one, there may be a lot of um, network interference, but I don't want it when it comes to, um, to the one done. So, if you have any question, drop it in the, um, in the comment button. And um, I'm 100% sure that I have helped with the little I can, but the network, as I'm looking at it over here, I'm not seeing the video clearly anymore but i'm going to create a video as i said i am going to create a video yeah it's not the video is not showing so anymore next on my list i think my video is not uh, showing again yes yeah, the video is not showing so i will create a a proper video, video and it's going to be name whatsapp as learning tools so please do as much as possible to start with whatsapp and my advice to everybody out there is that WhatsApp and any other platform are what you should be thinking of. If you are using Google Classroom, make sure you have WhatsApp as your backup. If you are using Edmodo, make sure you have WhatsApp as your plan as a backup. If you are using Edverse, make sure you have WhatsApp as your backup. If you are also using Google Team, make sure you have WhatsApp as your. If you are using Purple Match, make sure you have WhatsApp as your as your backup. WhatsApp is a major platform that everybody needs to understand. Why is this like that? This is because of parents. Parents, almost every parent are on WhatsApp. Everybody is on WhatsApp. So, because everybody is on WhatsApp, we need to follow that trend to make sure that we use that same WhatsApp to be able to get access to them. So, I, will, I want to appreciate everybody for joining this class. I am going to come back again with another video next week on how to create more content in the classroom environment. I really appreciate the time spent with you. My name is Odetola Ebeniza Israel. I would like you to enjoy your week. Take your time to um, check some of our videos. I have a lot of content for you in this channel. If you can be visiting this channel regularly, you are going to get value. This channel is built for value. Value is my philosophy. And then I'm very sure that I will achieve my aim of creating value. Because with value added to the society, you will have access to so many things. And uh, I, would, I would like to encourage every teacher out there that we don't need to complain for now again. A lot of complaints have been seen online. Please, let's try to look for solutions. Government may not actually hear any of those things that we are saying. Create solutions. When you create solutions, they, they will bring in money back to you. When you create solution, you are going to get money as a return of that solution. So let's try our best. Let's be creating solution. Solution is by learning how to use WhatsApp as elements. Solution is by making sure that you look for another source of income that you can you can do in just in just in just few days to get more money. But don't leave your passion. Your passion is something that you should not leave. 
Try your best as much as possible. Be encouraged. Be motivated. And there's something I want you to do. Try to be doing something every day. If you are not doing anything, you may not be encouraged. Try to make sure that there's something you are doing every day. Try to be doing something every day. Be engaged. If you are engaged, you will not remember anything that is going on in the country. And note something. The more you are engaged, the more you find solution to so many things that you are thinking of. Engagement is the solution right now to so many th- to so many things that is happening right here. So please try to be engaged. And um, if you are engaged, some of those things that we think of may not actually come up at all. So I want to thank you very much for actually coming for um, today's class. And uh, I want to stop right here so that I can upload more content on the YouTube channel so that we can actually um, take our time to be exploring. So I am going to send another video, as I said, on how to use WhatsApp as a virtual learning tool. Please go and watch that video. I am going to drop the video. The minute that I finish now, I am going to create that video. And then um, before 9 p.m., that video should be dropped here. Because the network is bad, I'm going to make sure I drop that video. So please try your best. Do something that you can. And uh, the Lord will bless you. Thank you very much. Have a lovely week. Hank. Yeah.